Tonight, News 6 investigates the funding to help combat the Zika virus in Florida. $1.1 billion from the U.S. government. Where is it going and do our local counties have a plan in place for how to use it? News 6 reporter Vanessa Ariza has the report. Zika has not only caused emotional distress, but it's been a costly problem too. Take Seminole County, for example. They're spending $116,000 each month to help stop the spread of the virus. Any extra funding would be welcomed. Some of the things that we would need is an increase in our resources, such as as the folks to be able to conduct those source source reduction. Brevard County wouldn't mind the financial help either. Virginia Baker with the Natural Resources Management Department says state funding offered $5,000 a month to help combat the issue. Ideally, the county would like to reduce aerial spraying, which would cost about $300,000 a month. Here's how some of that money will be broken down. 394 million will go to support mosquito control surveillance. 44 million will be used to reimburse states for public health emergency preparedness funding. As for research and vaccine development, that will take up 152 million. Some of the negative impacts with not having a program that's funded well is we wouldn't be able to respond appropriately and quickly for Zika response and mitigation. A representative with Human and Health Services tells me that if a county does want uh, that funding, they do need to put in a request with the HHS. Julie? All right, Vanessa, thank you. Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us. Now, you can read more about the Zika funding as well as the latest on the case count in Central Florida. You'll find it all on ClickOrlando.com, powered by News 6.